Good morning, everyone. How are y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to do like a cute um, Vogue inspired makeup tutorial. So that's what we're going to be doing today. All right, Lace. I already did some little skin prep, brushed my teeth. <gasps> <laughs> the little skincare already so I'm nice and moisturized we're just gonna start and go ahead and with the skincare so first what I like to start off with is my brows being that my brows are pretty full I usually don't um, fill them in I just simply where okay here it is I just pretty much um, Conceal them, that's what I do. So we're just gonna do that, brush them up with this little spoolie. And then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is in the shade Deep Chestnut. This is what I use underneath my brows. Let's see if I can do this in camera without having to look in the mirror. So this is something I've been doing for like over a year now. I've only um, stopped filling in my brows because they have gotten to be like super thick again and I'm here for it. So all I do is clean them up to make them look like, you know, make them look like um, something. <laughs> and do have a natural unibrow, so I kind of take that concealer in just a tad bit. So I'll do the other brow and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we got that all done. I'm just gonna go with this random brush and just blend that concealer out. And I'm gonna take it a little bit in between here because while I want my uni brow to stand out, I never want it to look like, boom, uni brow. I would rather it be like, oh, uni brow, you know, if that makes sense. <laughs> And sometimes they come out like exactly like sometimes I want to get them similar. But you know the saying, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. But I like for mine to look like twins because that's just the perfection is in me. So yeah, just blending that out. Do y'all like ASMR? I love ASMR. I think I want to do a little bit in the video. Just because, you know, satisfy any ASMR viewers. <laughs> Primer my face with the Wet n Wild Matte. Oops. Primer my face with the matte um, base face primer from <laughs> Wet n Wild. That's what happens when you try to be cute. This bottle is almost empty, so I'm having to like beat it. So just a little bit. I'm just gonna tap that on that area where I mainly get oily, where I have the larger pores. I wonder if I turn this back on enough. Is that better? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Foundation. Foundation I'm using, you've been. <laughs> Foundation I'm using uh, Juvia's Place. Two colors I'm using Angola and I'm using Tanzania. One's a little too light, one's a little too dark. So I mix the two and I get my perfect color. All right, so we're gonna mix. This is Tanzania. And y'all with this, you already know, you need just a little bit. So this is probably too much. Um, foundation right here but we gonna make it do what it do mix the two together we get this nice pretty chocolate color and i just like to apply that especially right now i'm in dallas so it's pretty hot so i want to go for as less products on my face as possible so i am like putting it where I have dark spots and hyperpigmentation, just so that, you know, for sure. If nothing else gets covered, that definitely does. 
So I have some on my neck, I apply it there too. I'm gonna blend it up to my eyelid in a second. So I know I'm looking crazy right now, but we're gonna get that taken care of. All right, that should be good. It really doesn't even matter because you gotta wear a freaking mask everywhere now. So I'm gonna let that sit. No, I'm not. No, we're gonna blend it. I like to use the e.l.f. powder brush. This is what I use to blend in my foundation. And I'm just gonna tap that in. Shout out to Jackie Ann, cause she's the reason why I started using this brush as a foundation brush. Other than this, I'd love to use um, a flat top kabuki brush. I freaking stand for a kabuki brush. I love it. See that coverage? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now we're gonna take another Juvia's Place product. <laughs> I'm using the Warrior 2 by Juvia's Place and I like to go in like with the, when I'm doing my everyday makeup look, I like to go and use a like a brownish brick red or something like that or a combination of the two on my eyelids. So I'm gonna use Jamada and Kufuru, mix those two together. Mix those two together, put it on my eyelid. Just something, you know, to put there. It doesn't have to be anything too loud. As long as you apply it on your eyelid, it really doesn't matter like how, you know, messy, whatever you apply. This is just something to give our eye a little bit of color, you know, that's it. Let's see, there we go. And then we're gonna go back with the brush that we used to blend out the concealer and just blend that in. No harsh lines. Concealer. We are using LA Girl Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze and that same e.l.f. concealer in Deep Chestnut. We're gonna use Deep Chestnut first. No, I'm sorry, this is la, 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 la. Beautiful Bronze. Oh, got a lash. And then we're gonna use Deep, Deep. Then we're gonna use Deep Chestnut. <laughs> Just so that uh, beautiful bronze can like tone it down just a tad bit. Put a little mascara on while that's drying because I'm gonna prep my um, lashes for lashes. <laughs> this is a trick I learned, I believe it was from It's My Ray Ray. I have really curly lashes, right? So I use my lash curler in reverse flatten my eyelashes so that it's easier application for me with the falsies. For my eyelashes, we're gonna be using lashes from my brand. I will be announcing when it's gonna be debuting, coming out, when it's gonna be available. Um, I'm excited about this though. I haven't named them yet, so if y'all got some name suggestions, let me know. So this is one pair. This is like my most natural, everyday, subtle pair. And it's called Black Label. That's the name of my brand. And then these are the lashes here. Very pretty, very pretty. Let me go ahead and get those on. I'm gonna let my glue sit for a second. Now I'm gonna just take a little flat top kabuki brush and blend out the highlighted areas. I'm gonna set the other eye, other eye, <laughs> the under eye. Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. We're using the shade 30 Deep Bronze. I like to use either this or Translucent Powder. I'm just gonna use a little bit that's in the cap. This is a Real Techniques RT402 brush. Not really too concerned with baking. I just wanna Get our things set in place. Y'all, wait till I put these lashes on, like. Girl. Of 
course, it wouldn't be me if I didn't drop anything. <laughs> Back in with the Julie's Place palette. I'm using Kufuru, that dark brown shade here, as my contour. Zamba and Jamata as blush. Let me look in the mirror, make sure I'm not looking crazy. Bam. Dust off any excess setting powder. Black Radiance pressed powder in the shade Ebony to set everywhere else, all around the face. This fresh smells really good. I must have had perfume on. I gotta wash it. About to get to the lashes, y'all. What I like to do next is um, the moles that I have on my face, the beauty marks. I like to just darken them with some eyeliner. Hold on. Just like that. I have one up here. Bam. I mean, bam. <laughs> I'm good at makeup, but I'm not that good to where I feel confident putting my lashes on on camera. So, yes, girl. Especially, I don't have my little mirror with me. So, it's kind of like hard. But yeah, so I'm gonna just go ahead and put the other one on and then we'll be right back. Okay, and we're big. Now, we're like pretty much almost done, y'all. I'm just gonna take, wipe the excess makeup off of my lips. Sorry, my lash looks crazy. Still waiting on glue to dry, so don't worry. We'll be good by the time this video is over, okay? I've been doing makeup for so many years, but it seems like putting on lashes is always like the most complicated thing for me. It's crazy. I'm going and line my lips. And sometimes I like to overline. So I'm just taking a little underneath the lip. A little over. I'm just gonna blend it with your finger. I think I'm gonna go with something matte. All right, so we're gonna use uh, Abu Dhabi from NYX. It's just a Soft matte lip cream. I've been doing glosses all weekend. So yeah, let's do a matte. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna set using NYX uh, Continuous Setting Mist. So I went ahead and finished my hair off camera. This is the end of this video. Y'all check, check. Check the description bar down below for any information, links, product details, everything. I'll have it down below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video.